maybe you should be the one to answer. I'll show you where it is. Tapos you answer. So I'll show it to you and then you analyze it. Diba? Fair enough. Susubukan, sir. Pero I'm sure it wasn't this article. It was something about the brain. Wait, ah. Let's try going back. Mm, it's like I went to the very last day. Something there. Mm -hmm. I, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it, guys. I saw it. No, 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 no. It's not about the placebo thingy. Ito, neuroaesthetics. <laughs> Nakakatawa siya. Tingnan mo, ha? Hmm. Yan na ba yun? Ay, iba. Sorry. Iba. Iba siya. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. With so many tasks that I've done here, I'm so confused already. Neuroaesthetics is how you train the mind to appreciate art. I forgot the title of it. Sana I uploaded it on YouTube or something. Tingnan mo yung grammar. Mali, oh. Yun. Uh, like, there was another the, the day before, no? Was it just yesterday or the other day? Nagban seven kami. The other day, sir. Oh, eh, kaya naman kasi mali mali yung grammar ng mga tanong, di ba? Na kainis. Eh. Kaya nalito tuli kami, di ba? Dapat past tense, eh. present tense yung ano yung <laughs> parang ha? Boy pa ba yung ano? Boy pa ba yung specimen? Di ba patay na yung specimen? Bakit taka present tense yun? <laughs> <laughs> Naguguluhan tuloy kami Yun tuloy, hindi kami naka nine <laughs> Sige, let's now go into the placebo effect The placebo effect Sige, let's do it that way ha? I'll look for it and then you Analyze Okay, so time is running I wait uh, Crystal, this is Mini IELTS Are you familiar with this? Crystal, have you done this? Have you seen this before? Christelle? Christelle? Is she here? Christelle? Christelle? Christelle Bartolo? Christelle? Hmm, she's not answering. Yung ganyan talaga pag mabait yung teacher, hindi pinapansin. <laughs> Siguro dapat maging terror ako, no? Para isang tawag lang. Mm, sorry, Para, sorry. Sir. Ayun, ganun. <laughs> sorry, Para sir. Maging... Nawala ako dito sa ano po kasi sa Zoom. Di ba pag terror yung teacher, sagot ka kagal. Sir, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry po. <laughs> This is mini IELTS. You just type in the search, uh, in the, what do you call this URL? Search, search box. Yes. Oh. Search box. Yes. And mini box. IELTS. There's no need to register. Mini IELTS. Okay. Then the Pasok online. Pasok and then do the test. Okay. It's very convenient. Sige po, then, sir. Mini IELTS. Mini IELTS. Okay. I clicked on readings. But, Christelle, what we're doing is only one reading passage at a time. Ito di ba kahapon, BK? Ang gulo ng tanong, hello. <laughs> Oo, sir. Buisit yun. Buisit, ha? Oh, this is the one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Marketing and mind control. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, this is so nice. That's the one. Pero this is not the placebo. Loka, loka. Uh, uh, <laughs> how they were able to embark on marketing campaign on diamonds, you know? Ayan, oh. Mm -hmm. So, yun. Uh, and then they link the idea of diamonds to wedding rings. Kaya ngayon, tuloy, bawat wedding ring may diamond. May diamond. Oo. Oh, ganon. It started pala way back in... <laughs> it started way back in the... 
early 1900s. Yung hanggang ngayon, wala na, hindi na nawala. Yun. Nasaan na yung water? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Katawa yung sa, ano eh, sa, sa rats, eh, no? Parang bigla silang kakain, eh. Pag nakita nila, may kasama silang rat. Pero ayaw naman nila yung food. <laughs> Mm. Nasaan na? Chimpanzees. Mm. Diyan ba yung water, sir? Ang alam ko lang, dyan yung gumaya yung rat doon sa kinakain. Ayun ba yun? Wala ba yung water dito? Naguguluhan na ako. Ano, <laughs> walang water dyan, yung... sir. Wala ba? Feeling ko, sir. Kasi parang ang galing ng art. Ay- oh! oh, ayaw. Oh! Ayan ako. In the case of bottled water, we are trying advertising into paying for something that we can obtain for free. Most people cannot distinguish bottled from tap water, much less between brands of bottled water, which is why you rarely hear of a bottled water company proposing a blind taste test. <laughs> Diba? We're paying for bottled water. We're paying for expensive ones. Thinking it will be, it will make us safer. But it's something we can get for free. <laughs> Ang galing nyo, Wilkins, ha? <laughs> Very nice. Kasalanan ni Juday yan, eh. <laughs> diba si Juday is endorsing Wilkins? Diba? Kaya wala kang makikita ng blind taste test for bottled water. Kasi subukan mo gawin yan. Wala kang makikita ng pagkakaiba. <laughs> <laughs> ang galing, galing, galing. Galing nyo marketing. Yung Ma'am Rochelle, ang galing nyo. Yung, you were, the way you uh, trick us. Yung parang yung diamond camping. Oh my God. Mag, mag-100 years na yung diamond <laughs> In the, uh, napaka-effective niya a diamond is forever <laughs> oh my god man <laughs> yung kaya mahal tuloy ng diamonds <laughs> it was because of a advertising agency <laughs> you're so intelligent okay <laughs> oh yung bottled water <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Tapos punta ka 7-Eleven, bibili kang bottled water. Sana pala nagbaong ka na lang. Ng... <laughs> Di ba? Bili tayo ng bili. <laughs> mga ano yung mga iniinom natin, mga galon-galon. <laughs> okay. Tama na yan. The placebo effect. <laughs> I love reading and learning so much from it. Sige. Okay. So, this is how we do it, Crystal. Ayan yung reading passage. Pero de-dead may natin siya. It's all about the placebo effect. Kaya yung red pill and blue pill. And then, yes. this is yes, no, not given. Hinuhuli namin yan. Ito madali to. Kasi ayun, meron pa siyang may choices pa siya sa baba. So, we will do that first. So, generally, we do the easy ones first. Okay. Tapos, Itong multiple choice can be hard, it can be easy. You know? So, like ito, William Potter, madali siguro ang hanapin yan. Ano? Oh, William Potter na naman. No? Yun, so, mga kadalawa na tayo sa William Potter. Ano tong tight race? La- o, oh, in line 80. Oh, ba ito? Ah, nasa may line 80. <laughs> Wala naman number in lines. <laughs> Grabe naman niya. Grabe naman to. Hanapin pa natin. <laughs> Hanapin natin yung tight race. And then, ayan, Ted Kapchok. Ted Kapchok. So, parang, Crystal, parang um, carry itong multiple choice na to kasi kitang-kita yung mga keywords na madali siya hanapin. So, ito na. MK869, guys. So, ito na. Uh, I will read it for you. Tapos, yung analyze, ha? Ayan yung Merck, oh. Merck. What is Merck? Is it a French company? Pharmaceutical company. Ano yun? French ba yun? Mm-hmm. German? 
Ayun na yung MKH69. Pero I will try to see if it appeared earlier. Ganun, Crystal. Okay, Pfizer, GlaxoSmithKline. Pfizer is American. American yata yung Pfizer, di ba? Nasaan yung MK869? Sige, guys. Parang I think we need to read these first two paragraphs, guys. Para maintindihan natin yung MK869. Kasi mahirap yata. Tingnan mo yun. His plan hinge on the success of an experimental antidepressant code name MK869. Sino siya? Diba, guys? Parang... Try natin, ha? Let's just read that paragraph. Sino yung his na yun? Si Edward Sholnik siguro yan, no? Still in clinical trials, it was a new kind of medication that exploited brain chemistry in innovative ways to promote feelings of well-being. The drug tested extremely well early on with minimal side effects. Behind the scenes, however, MK869 was starting to unravel. Too many test subjects treated with the medication felt their hopelessness and anxiety lift. We don't even know the disease, no, guys? Sir, nasa taas. Pero, but I'll just see if we can answer this with just one paragraph. But so did nearly the same number who took a placebo, a lookalike pill made of milk sugar, or another... Ano yun? Innate sub... <laughs> Is that a wrong spelling? Is there a, a word as innate? Wala, guys. So, grabe, mali yung spelling. Oh. Innate yata. Innate, ganun. Iba naman yan. Oh, wala. There's no such word. Oh, wala. No such word. Di ba? Nakakainis, ha? Okay. Innate yata. Substance given to groups of volunteers in subsequent clinical trials to gauge the effectiveness of the real drug by comparison. Ultimately, Merck's venture into the antidepressant market failed. In the jargon of the industry, the trials crossed the futility boundary. Okay. Guys, basahin natin yung first two paragraph. Para dito ako eh. <clears throat> The fact that taking a fake drug can powerfully improve some people's health, the so-called placebo effect, was long considered an embarrassment to the serious practice of pharmacology. But now things have changed. Oh, parang people are now beginning to realize that there is such a thing, no? Several years ago, Merck, a global pharmaceutical company, was falling behind its rivals in sales. To make matters worse, patients on five blockbuster drugs were about to patents. Siguro ayan patents were about to expire which would allow cheaper generic products to flood the market. In interviews with the press, Edward Sholnick, Merck's research director, whoa, well, that's a very important position, presented his plan to restore the firm to preeminence. Key to his strategy was expanding the company's reach into the antidepressant market, where, kaya pala ang daming mga nagsusulat ng mga motivational books, no guys? where Merck had trailed behind, while competitors like Pfizer and GlaxoSmithKline had created some of the best-selling drugs in the world. To remain dominant in the future, he told one media company, we need to dominate the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. Ayan na. A new kind of medication. Tapos, behind the scenes, however, MK8 was starting to unravel. And so, in other words, hindi nag-work, no? So, ito na. <clears throat> as, a as a result of concerns about increasing blank in the drugs industry, the pharmaceutical company Merck decided to increase its blank in the antidepressant. So, you guys, what's the answer? Increasing rivals? Or, and then, competition? Diba sir, sabi dun sa first, ay second paragraph, was falling behind its rivals in sales. Merck. Ay. Yun. Yun. So tama, 
competition. Pero sir, hindi ka ko sure ha. Tanungin niya din po sila. Hindi naman activity, hindi naman prices. Hindi naman success, success. hindi naman patients, hindi naman tests. Hindi naman diseases. Competition yun guys, wala nang iba. Di ba? Mark decided to increase its blank in the antidepressant market. The development of the drug MK869 was seen as the way forward. Mm, which one is it? Expanding the company's reach. Ano yun, sir? The key to his strategy was expanding the company's reach into the antidepressant market. Expanding the company's reach. Oh, ano yun? Ano yun, sir? Ano Hindi naman prices, hindi naman pwedeng success. Hindi naman patience. Pwedeng success. Pwedeng test. Company suites. Activity, success. Activity. Former time. Hindi naman symptoms. Hindi naman criticism. So, tanggal na rito. Pwedeng test. Hindi naman disease. Hindi naman patients. Pwedeng activity. Pwedeng test. Success. Pwedeng success. So, kahit may isang tentative lang answer, guys, which one is the best for you? Which one is it? Expanding the company's reach. Mm. So, on your reach. Baka success nga, sir. Pwede yung success. Ay, no? Tentative. Well. Initially, MK869 had some. Ayun na yung success. Di ba? Ayun na. Hello. Yes. So, mukhang ang ano yan. Ay! Ano ba to? Hindi siya success. So, ito. Okay. Activity kaya yan, sir. Activity siguro. Activity. Hindi naman test, eh, no? Hindi naman sinabi yung test, sir. Baka activity. Parang mas activity, no? Sana lumabas yung test later. But later trials reveal the different picture. Although key plan could be treated with a drug, Ayun. Key what? Many test subjects treated with the medication felt their hopelessness and anxiety lift. Symptom? Key. I? Symptoms ba yun? Could be treated with a drug. Antidepressant siya guys ah. Hindi naman disease, di ba? Di ba, di ba? Di ba, di ba? Wait, sir. Binabasa lang. Kasi, hindi naman natin treat yung disease eh. Di ba, guys? Nandun pa rin yung disease. Yes, sir. Di ba? Okay. So, it could treat symptoms. 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 Yun. A sugar pill was proving equally effective. <laughs> Para ano lang ito yung bottled water. <laughs> Katawa yung human mind, no? In the end, the blank indicated it was pointless continuing with the development of the drug. Yes. Yes. Nasaan yung question questionable natin kanina? Yung seven here. Seven. Activity and some success. Seven. Increase in activity. Tama na yun. Walang prices. Okay. So we read three paragraphs now, guys. And so parang in your head, try to... Yun, try to summarize a paragraph in your head. Ito, this is all about Edward Sholnick. Diba? 
Tapos ito yung The Failure of MK869. Diba? Yung first paragraph, it's all about the changing perspective. Ganun, guys, no? So, pwede, pwede kayo mag-right-click doon in the exam. Right-click ng ganun. Tapos, may dalawang choices lang eh. Highlight or notes. Yun, gagawa kayo ng note. Pwede naman yan. Gawa kayo ng note na changing perspective. Tapos ito, uh, si Sholnik. Gawa kayo note. Click on that. Tapos may lalabas na note. Sholnik. Ganun. Tapos ito, MK869. Ganun. Para mabilis ang uh, searching. Okay. So, ayan. So, we are still in MK869, guys. Merck's experience with MK869 was unique. <clears throat> guys, parang nakita ko yung next paragraph, meron pa rin siyang MK869, no? Ayun, no? Diba? Masahin mo na natin yan, guys. Kasi hinahanap natin kung unique. Diba? MK869 has not been the only much-awaited medical breakthrough to be undone in recent years. So, ayun na yung sagot, no, guys? Mm. By the placebo effect. Kaya pala when they conduct trials, no, parang may placebo doon, di ba? Some of the pills are placebo, some are real, di ba? Kaya pala, and then they're comparing those with the placebo. Kung pareho lang yung effect, o di wala, palpak yung drug, di ba? And it's not only trials of new drugs that are crossing the futility boundary. What a nice term. Some products that have been in the market for decades are faltering in more recent follow-up tests. It's not that the old medications are getting weaker. Drug developers say it's as if the placebo effect is somehow getting stronger. Oh my God. I see. The fact that an increasing number of medications are unable to beat sugar pills has thrown the industry into crisis. Very nice, no? The stakes could hardly be higher. To win FDA approval, a new medication must beat placebo in at least two authenticated trials. In today's economy, the fate of a well-established company can hang on the outcome of a handful of tests. Can you imagine researching for years? No? Tapos, tinest mo lang, pumalpa. Ouch. Kaya palang mamahalang gamot, no, guys? What's the answer? What's the answer based on what you read there? What's the answer? It is in you guys. Not given. Wait, huh? has not been the only much awaited medical breakthrough to be undone in recent years. Not given. Mm, wait. Parang sa akin kasi, guys, in English, Hindi lang ang MK869 ang pumalpak dahil sa placebo. Yun. No. No. Yun, di ba? For me, eh, parang tinagalog ko, no? Hindi lang yun ang drug na pumalpak sa nakaraang taon dahil sa placebo. Marami pa. Di ba, guys? Mm. So, hindi siya unique, no? Marami eh. Daming drugs eh. Di ba? Do you understand? Tinagalog ko eh. Kaya parang I understood it better eh. Yes, sir. So, okay. These days, a small number of unsuccessful test results can ruin a well-established drugs company. Nandito yun. In today's economy. In today's the economy, fate. the fate of a well-established company can hang the outcome of a handful of tests. So yung handful of tests na yun, guys, a small yeah. number yon, no? And then unsuccessful test results, yon. Ando na yun, di ba? A handful of unsuccessful tests yun eh, di ba? Mm. And can ruin a well-established drugs company. Yun, the fate of a well can hang on the outcome. Uh, you know, can ruin, can hang on the outcome. Ano yun, guys? Yes. Yes, sa akin yun. Pareho ang meaning nun. No? 
can ruin, can hang on the outcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sana, if we eventually prove now that the mind can cure all our diseases, no? Diba? Just from tricking it, diba? Some medical conditions are more easily treated by a placebo than others. Mm, let's read that, guys. Finisya natin. Why are fake pills suddenly overwhelming promising new drugs and established medicines alike? The reasons are only just beginning to be understood. A network of independent researchers is doggedly uncovering the inner workings and potential applications of the placebo effect. A psychiatrist, William Potter, who knew that some patients really do seem to get healthier for reasons that have more to do with the doctor's empathy than with the contents of a pill, was baffled by the fact that drugs he had been prescribing for years seemed to be struggling to prove their effectiveness. Thinking that the crucial factor may have been overlooked, Potter combined through his company's database of published and unpublished trials, including those that had been kept secret because of high placebo response. May database sila. His team aggregated the findings from decades of antidepressant trials, looking for patterns and trying to see what was changing over time. What they found challenged some of the industry's basic assumptions about its drug vetting process. Assumption number one was that if a trial were managed correctly, a medication would perform as well or badly in a Phoenix hospital as in a Bangalore clinic. However, that geographic location alone could Potter discovered, however, that geographic location alone could determine the outcome. What? Iba ba mang isip ang mga taga Bangalore? By the late 1990s, for example, the anti-anxiety drug, the Yazepam, was still beating placebo in France and Belgium, but when the drug was tested in the US, it was likely to fail. Conversely, a similar drug, Prozac, Perform better in America than it did in Western Europe and South Africa. It was an unsettling prospect. FDA approval could hinge on where the company chose to conduct a trial. Ang ganda, guys. Parang iba yung pag-iisip ng mga tao sa States, sa France, sa Belgium. My God. Sa medical condition are more easily treated by a placebo than others. Parang medical no. conditions ba, guys? Parang wala akong nakikita. Not even, sir. Parang wala. sinasabi rito yung place, eh, no? Mm. The place. Parang ano yan, brand loyalty yan, guys. Di ba? Parang pag sinabi nga, ito, tikman mo to, galing sa ano yan, galing sa Starbucks yan. Tapos, pag tinikman, uy, sarap, ha? Eh, kasi galing sa Starbucks, eh. <laughs> Di ba? True. Eh, pagkagaling sa never heard na company, parang uh, okay lang. Hindi mm. masarap. <laughs> it was to be expected that the third group in Taput, Tapchuk's trial would do better than the other two groups. It's the third group. Mistaken assumption number two was that the standard test used to gauge volunteers and proven in trials yielded consistent results. That's a mistaken assumption, no? Potter's colleagues discovered that ratings by that observers, by trial observers, varied significantly from one testing site to another. It was like finding out that the judges in a tight race each had a different idea about the placement of the finish line. After some coercion by Potter and others, the Natural Institute of Health focused on the issue in 2000, hosting a three-day conference in Washington. And this conference launched a new wave of placebo research in academic labs in the US and Italy that would make significant progress towards solving the mystery of what was happening in clinical trials. In one study last year, Harvard Medical School researcher Ted Kapchuk devised a clever strategy. 
for testing is volunteers response to various levels of therapeutic trial. The study focused on a common but painful medical condition that costs more than 40 billion a year worldwide to treat. First, the volunteers were placed randomly in one of three groups, A and N groups. One group was simply put on a waiting list. Researchers know that some patients get better just because they sign up for a trial. Hello, <laughs> pet. Hmm. Nag sign up lang. <laughs> Another group received placebo treatment from a clinician who declined to engage in small talk. Volunteers in the third group got the same fake treatment from a clinician who asked them questions about symptoms, outlined the causes of the illness, and displayed optimism about their condition. Not surprisingly, the health of those in the third group improved most. Pero ano yun ha? Fake ha? Fake. Fake. Diba, diba? Fake. Yung first group, sign up lang. Yung second group, fake. Hindi naman kinausap. No personal treatment. Third group, fake pa rin, Pero with matching... Uh, um, what do you call that? Uh, TCL. Ay! Uh, what do you call that? Uh, what's that acronym, guys? Um, parang TC... Uh, I forgot... Anyway, not surprising the health of those in fact, just by participating in the trial, volunteers in the science interaction group got as much yes. relief as did people taking the two leading prescription drugs. It was to be expected that the third group would do better than the other two groups. Expected by them. Are you not surprised? Not surprisingly. No. Mm -mm. Yes. And the benefits of their bogus treatment persisted for weeks afterward, contrary to the belief. What? It persisted for weeks. <laughs> they felt better for weeks. Widespread in the pharmaceutical industry that the placebo response is short-lived. Okay, Capchuk's research highlights the fact that combined drug and placebo treatments should be avoided. Combined drug and placebo treatments. Basahin na natin yung last, guys. Studies like this open the door to hybrid treatments. Ayun na, guys. Hybrid yun. Hybrid. That exploit the placebo effect to make real drugs safer and more effective. As Potter says, to really do the best for your patients, you want the best placebo response plus the best drug response. No. Combined drug and placebo uh, should be avoided. So, no. Diba? Ay, sir, teka. Sa kay, ano pa din ba yan? Kay Kapchuk pa din ba yan? Kapchuk pa rin ba yan? Si Pater na ata nagsabi. Sino ba si Pater? All of this is Kapchuk eh. Ayan, no? Ayan, sir, eh. As Pater says... To really do the best for your patients, you want to the best placebo response plus the best drug response adapted from Wired magazine. Si Pater uh, yung pero, nagsabi. Uh, si Pater yung nagsabi, pero look ha, studies like this, ayun, referring okay. to Kapchuk, Kapchuk pa rin. Open the door to hybrid treatment strategies. So, should be avoided mali. Should not be avoided. Ganda no, the placebo. Wala na. Ay, oh my God. Multiple choice. Which of the following is true of William Potter's research? Nasaan ba yung William Potter? Ayun. Ayan, sir. Ayan, yan yung may database siya depending on the out location. No? Tapos, mm, the second assumption was Varied significantly from one testing site to another. Ano ba yung first assumption? Standard tests used to gauge volunteer improvement yielded consistent results. Kaya pala yung COVID, they tested it in many places, no? They tested it in Brazil. They tested it in Europe. Di ba? Mistaken assumption number one yan. And then, I number two. What was the first one? Mm. Assumption number one was that the trial were managed correctly. 
a medication would perform as well in any place. Assumption number two, mistaken assumption number two was the standard test used to gauge quantities in trials yielded consistent results, hindi consistent yung results. Those are the two assumptions. No? Recently developed drugs. Parang hindi, guys. Kasi yung matagal yun, yung aggregated findings from decades of antidepressant trials. So mali yun, di ba? Nakita nyo yun? Decades eh. No? Binalikan nyo yung decades of findings eh, no? It included trial results from a range of drug companies. Wala naman sinasabi. Wala Pero sir, na-mention na yung sa diasipa. Ay, sa bagay, drug lang naman. Oh, some of the test recent investigation had not been made public. Oh, kasi nga, some are published and some are unpublished. Pwedeng see. Some of it were not accepted by the drugs industry. Mali din yun. Kasi nagano nga sila, di ba? Nagkaroon sila ng... Sure, ayan no. It was an unsettling prospect if the approval could hinge on... Ay, di pala. Mali eh. Si yon. Some of the results had not been made public. Yun yon, published and unpublished trials. Yun yon. <clears throat> what did he reveal about the location of the drug trials? The placebo effect was weakest in the US. Male. Results were not consistent around the world. Pwede. Pwede. Results varied depending on the type of hospital wala namang binanggit FDA preferred drugs to be tested in wala rin guys B. B what does the tight race refer to in line 80 nasaan ba yung tight oh, race oh hindi natin nakita bilangin natin sir charing <laughs> bilangin natin ah. <laughs> ano ba <laughs> ano saan ba yung tight <laughs> race Ayun, tight race. Sa... Sa may mistaken assumption, sir. Mistaken, mistaken assumption number two is a standard test used to gauge volunteers improvement. Water. Dito? Uh, sige, sir. Diretsoin mo lang. Dyan yan. His colleagues discovered that ratings by the trial observer varied significantly from one testing site to another. It was like finding out the judges in a tight race. Ayun. Ano ba yun? It had a different idea about the placement. Each had a different in the standard test, consistent results, ratings by trial observer or testing sites. Hindi naman testing sites yan. No? Each had a different idea about Mga the judge placement. daw sa isang karera, iba-iba ang finish line nila. Mga judge sa karera. So, ano ba yung karera na yan? Yun ba yung... Mistaken. Mistaken yes, assumption number two was the standard test. Just to gauge uh, improvement. Uh, sir, letter standard C. test. Letter C. Ayun na, no, Potter and his colleagues discovered that ratings by trial observers varied uh, significantly from one testing to another. It was like finding out. Letter C, sir. Find ratings see, by trial observers. Mm -hmm. Yun. Hindi lang sa taas. What significant discoveries made by Ted Capture? Ayun nga, yung puro fake, no? Pero lahat gumaling. <laughs> yung isa nag-sign up lang, gumaling. <laughs> Ay, nako. <laughs> yung isa nag-sign up, ay nag-take ng fake treatment, pero gumaling din. Pero mas gumaling yung may TCL. TCL ang term na yan, guys. Ay, T, T, F, ah. Uh, uh, care, care something eh. Care, it's an acronym, guys. TC, ah, uh, parang, ah, uh, Basta ganoon, care, care. The C is a care. Three, three letters. TLC. Uh, which means uh, TLC. Caring <laughs> C. Ano ba? Total 
Tender yeah. loving. Ano, what's that? Tender. Tender, Tender loving, loving care. care. Oh my God, kanina ko pa iniisip. Shut! What's it? Uh-huh. So, the effects of placebo can last longer than previously thought. Patient self can improve while waiting to undergo a trial. Pero guys, significant, di ba? Significant. A. Tama yung A, tama yung B. Patient respond better to a placebo. They're treated by the same clinician throughout the trial. Who's conducting a placebo trial need to know the subject's disorder? Well, ano ba doon? A, sir, A. Significant. Ayan, sir, oh. In the third group, same fake treatment. Ay, hindi pala. Not surprising din nandiyan, sir. Sa last sentence, bogus treatment. That the placebo response. Hmm. Okay. Ewan ko, sir, kung tama pagkakaintindi ko, double check. Ito. Hindi naman ito yun. O oh, the significant, parang ano to, NCLEX, the best answer. <laughs> And the yeah, benefits. Said by the same clinician, wala naman pinanggit na gana. Those cannot need to know the subject's disorder well. Wala naman pinanggit na gana. It's either A or B lang, guys. Ito, so, sir. I know. Persisted yeah. for weeks afterward, contrary to the belief widespread in the pharmaceutical industry that the placebo response is yeah. short-lived. So, okay. akala nila short-lived. Kaya nang ba ginawa ito? Ang galing ng West, no? Ang dami nilang pera kung ano-ano ang pinag-aaralan nila, no? Di ba? 2,000 guys. That was 2,000. Oh, so, by this time, marami na silang findings sa placebo, no, guys? Kaya pala, when they conduct trials, merong isang group doon na placebo. Diba? Hindi mo na do-double check. Sige. <laughs> Hindi na kasi 33 minutes na to. Hala. <laughs> Hala. na naman tayo. Hindi na lang tayo nagawa man mistake. Mas screenshot muna, guys, and send to me, please. Pero guys, no, parang okay na, nag-reading test tayo pero ang dami nating natutunan, no? Di ba? Just by doing one reading test, di ba? 30 minutes of our lives, no? Di ba? Bakit Hala, man, mali! 13. Nasa dulo yun. Hindi sa rating. Standard. Standard test. Bakit? Balikan natin, ha? Ayan, may explanation sa Ay, may... Um... Judges in a tight race each other. Basahin natin lahat. Mistaken assumption number two was that the standard test used to gauge Ayun. volunteers' improvement trials yielded consistent results. Mali yun, no? Ayun, Potter sorry, and his colleagues discovered that ratings by trial observers. Alam ko na, BK. Yung sir, tra- standard. Oo. Sila yung judge. Mm-mm. Yun, sila yung judge. Yung titrace, yung standard test. Yung used titrace, to be yung ano. Nasa first sentence. Oo. Ratings. Okay lang. Happy pa rin tayo, guys. Buti hindi 7 pa. <laughs> Yun. Parang may jinx tayo lagi tayong 8.5. Mm. Okay. Wait. Recording nga pala to. Wait, I'll stop the recording.